Hello, I'm C.A. Vosberg with Electron Machine Corporation. We make the world's most rugged process refractometers. Today we're going to make a video to show you exactly what we mean by that statement. Come on, let's go. What we have here is our first generation NPR E-Scan refractometer. It's the non-color display, so the new ones are a little bit brighter in the sunlight. We're going to pour some soda on the end of the sensing head here. Right now it's got nothing on it. It's reading question marks, which is normal. So when we do that, we should get a reading of the sugar content of the soda. Here it comes. Yeah, a little bit over 10 bricks, so think about that next time you have your soda. Uh, next step is us to clean the end of the sensing head off. So we'll just do it the easy way. Now it's time to do some torture testing. Now we're ready for the next test. Didn't even dent it. You've seen us drag it through the mud. You've seen us run over it with a truck. The only logical thing to do next is to shoot it. Don't try this at home. Well, we definitely broke the display. But, I think she'll still work. Well, that head doesn't look messed up. Let's try a little bit more power. Well, let's see if she works. All right, well, we've had a lot of fun torture testing the NPR E-Scan. As you can see, the display is no longer readable. We're going to go ahead and power it up, though, to make sure the head still works. It's pretty beat up, but uh, pour our soda back on here, see if we can get a reading out of it. Sample chamber lid got broken in the process of our torture testing, so we'll use a piece of aluminum foil here to block the light out. And of course, the display is completely unreadable now. Power supplies fans on, so that's working. 
the uh, light showing that the CPU is functioning is on. And we've got good voltage coming out of our sensing head. So we're making a reading right now. And the 4 to 20 output's working. So we still have a functioning unit here. We just don't have a display. We know at Electron Machine that our equipment's going to get damaged in the field. That's just part of it. So we make everything field repairable. So all we'll simply do is, uh, is put a brand new door on it and we should be back up and running. So now we put a new door on our e-scan, our NPR e-scan. Simple as uh, putting a new hinge pin on there, connecting up a few wires. We'll get it powered back on. Make sure that it's still working the way we thought it was. And sure enough, a little over 10 bricks sugar content of our cola. Well, have me a little sip. That's real field testing. <laughs>